I'm very rarely puzzled. And I mean, I just stuff stuff's very serious. Well, I appreciate think about mm -hmm. Breitbart and uh, Tom Clancy and the uh, Rolling Stone guy that were working on. They were all working together on something, and now they're dead. You know, so. Well, let me tell you, I'm blessed that I'm not pushing up daisies. I hear you. I appreciate your call. Uh, let's go to Mike in Illinois. Thanks for holding. You're listening on WCKG. I just hear people are calling from. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Thanks for taking my call. Uh, just found you on the radio dial about five, six weeks ago. I enjoy your show. Thank you. Unfortunately, I only get your first two hours. Um, hey, I'm, I don't want to change the subject, but I'm going to bring this up. I'm not sure if you're aware of this. I know you're aware of fluoride and... and uh, aspartame and all that other garbage that they've got in our food and drink. Um, have you ever heard of uh, chelation or EDTA? Are you familiar with that at all? Yes, there's a lot of different forms of uh, chelation to get toxins out of your body. Okay. Well, I, I was bringing, the reason I'm bringing it up is uh, I work at a fairly large defense contractor, and just since Christmas we've had about five or six of my coworkers have had heart attacks due to blocked arteries, and then you know, the doctors tell them you got to get this bypass surgery or you're going to die. And, and chelation is so safe and it's so effective that uh, there's a lot of countries where it's actually illegal for the doctors to do that bypass surgery. So I'm not sure if your audience is aware of that, but I just... Sure, well, they, I mean, they never tell you to... Ch Why do you think so many people are having heart trouble where you work? Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's, it's a rhetorical question. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's over a couple, couple thousand employees, so it's... Statistically, it's sure. probably not significant. And again, most of these guys are in their you know, late 40s, early 50s, early 60s. So it's probably around the time that those kinds of problems are going to show up. But it, it just it's a shame that more people are not aware of it as an alternative to these angioplasties or these bypass surgeries, which you know have anywhere from a 5 to a 8 or 9 percent morbidity rate. And, you know, chelation is totally safe and it's relatively inexpensive yeah they killed neil armstrong in one of those surgeries i appreciate your yeah. call thank you so much All Bren right. thank you brenda in new mexico you're on the air go ahead call um i wanted you to hear something that we got uh from the county um uh, that i left on my answering machine are you ready okay well tell me about it uh, it's, uh, one's uh, asking for us to all get vaccines in our county for us and our neighbors. We've never had this happen before, and one of them's a red alert that we all have to sign up for. Yeah, yeah, I know, you, but you don't have to sign up for that. Government, though, is inducing you through contract fraud. They even have folks that. under federal grants that come bang on your door and say, time to get your shots. And, and, and the big pharma is actually being paid. It's a big corporate boondoggle. Uh, and all the statistics show these vaccines are deadly. Uh, and again, I'm not saying the science of inoculation doesn't have some merits in history. The problem is you can't trust these big companies. They're putting other stuff in them. And even a good vaccine ends up lowering your immunity, just like antibiotics do. And by the way, the good news is um, after a little bit of pressure, Chick-fil-A is going to stop getting chicken that has antibiotics in it. Now, <laughs> would, would you like to hear this, though? Yeah, yeah. In fact, you, you can scan it and send it to showtips at Infowars.com. I'm aware it's been going on, but you just said we're, we're required to sign up for this red alert. Tell me about it. Well, it's um, it's well, it's it's an audio. It's an audio. I've, I've actually made a recording of it for you to hear. Oh, so it was sent to you over your phone? Yes, sir. And I saved it. Yeah. Government, I told you to start sending you video, audio, first was text, fear mongering you and then literally turning your phone on at night. Yeah, go ahead and play the audio. Okay, just a second. Here we go. No new messages. All message played back. No new messages. All message played back. Important message for all residents and businesses located in Torrance County. We have licensed the Code Red Community Notification System to help disseminate important or critical information. We encourage all residents and businesses to go to the Torrance County website at torrancecountynm.org. Click on the Code Red logo located just below the department listings on the main page and enter their contact information, including additional phone numbers, text, and email addresses to ensure all of the data in our system is accurate and current. 
If you know of anyone who did not receive this call who lives in Torrance County, please encourage them to visit the Torrance County website and enter their information. If you do not have internet access, please contact a friend or family member to help add your contact information to the emergency database. You can also call the Torrance County Dispatch Center directly at 384-1022 for assistance. That number again is 384-1022. Thank you. Now, just a second. I have one more for you. Um, I have. I, I sure, have sure. But more. and again, oh. first it's missing ladies. All message. Quick. And then and, and then then it's missing kids. And then it's five, six, seven, eight. Just a second. Here's then one it's, more. I understand. Then it's turn your neighbor in. And this is the Torrance County 911 Dispatch Center with an important announcement from the New Mexico Department of Health. The New Mexico Department of Health, in partnership with Torrance County government, will be providing flu vaccinations on Friday, February 14th, from noon until 6 p.m. at the McLeod Medical Center located in Moriarty, New Mexico. The immunization clinic is open to the public at no cost. For more information on the no-charge flu shot clinic, please call the Moriarty Public Health Office at 832-6782 or the Torrance County Emergency Manager's Office yeah. at 246-4748. This is government pushing its services. Is this bizarre? No, no ma'am. You uh, would like to hear all that. No, I would. Go ahead and turn your machine off now, and then let me just tell you what's happening. Okay, okay. just a second. Disseminate important... Okay. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. They, they tried this in the 80s. All the new radios in your car, you buy at the store. Most of the cost is a chip at them that picks up shortwave or AM from government transmitters that orders it to turn on. Some of them even have a capacitor so it can operate for a time without uh, plug power. And then it gives you orders. Over your cell phone, you get Obama emails. My dad gets them every day. I get them every week. Uh, you, 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 the flashing signs that say we've got an Alzheimer's missing woman. It all sounds reasonable, but then it can be jacked in to be a political tool. You heard it saying, tell your neighbors, give us their data. And in the future, it will be, you will arrive at this point or you will be arrested later. So this is government now getting into your life, taking over your phones, taking over your computers, data mining you. Uh, and uh, using your phone number and information to call up. This is 911 with an emergency information for you. All to, again, prepare you f to interface with government to be bossed around. That's what the TSA is. Normal people who aren't criminals aren't supposed to have regular contact with bureaucrats. But, but you're being prepared to literally be bathed in these people. And the new work projects during the Depression won't be building dams or, or park sites it will be being part of the tattletale squats uh, and reporting on neighbors' guns. And, and all of this has already been done in other countries, in Europe and other places. And so this is a takeover plan. And uh, it is absolutely authoritarian. They have Walmarts all over the country where you go up to a robot kiosk and it goes, Obamacare helps you. Now buy health care. And then it told Jakari Jackson, who's got 3% body fat, that he was obese and you know, it tells people who have low blood sugar that they're, uh, you know, diabetic, even though they have low blood sugar. It's total quack garbage. You know, you go into one of these computers now, my grandmother did, and she, they said, have you had sh sugary snacks today? Yes. And then they, and then, you know, well, then we can't give you the test, uh, you know, for diabetes. You've never had it, though, at, you know, 89 or whatever. Uh, this happened just last year. And so... Still, they said, well, the computer says you're diabetic, even though you ate sugary snacks and the, and the blood test, you know, shows that you had a little bit of high blood sugar, but it's not diabetes. We're just going to go ahead and say you're diabetic, take this pill. And then she took the pill and passed out and, you know, basically almost died because it took her blood sugar down to nothing. And my dad called up the doctor because my dad's a physician and said, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to do a, I forget the name of the test, where they slice up the red blood cells and go back over a month to get their real average of the, of the blood sugar. They just said, well, we don't do that now. We follow Obamacare. So Obamacare, and so my dad took her back to another doctor. No, you don't even have high sugar. You're in really good, great shape for 89 years old. You don't need any drugs. But this is America. It's all run by robots. It's all run by computers. It's all run by centralized committees, and all your data is public. And this is the beginning. I told everybody forever, it's going to start with, you know, there's an old lady missing, there's a child missing, and next it's going to be report illegal guns. Well, they now have, 
the image is flashing showing a revolver report illegal guns all over the country, including Austin. And, and the carpet cleaner comes to your house and sees a Colt 911 45 framed above your bed. You are going to be SWAT teamed. Doesn't matter if the gun's completely legal. When they get a call, they respond, they take the guns and you don't get them back. And then they go, you'll give your guns back, go to psychological evaluation. Well, it's their psychological evaluator. And they go, are you mad about your gun being taken? Well, yeah, I have no criminal record and it was legal and they pushed my head in the ground. I'm upset. Well, that's an opposition to authority paranoia in the uh, psychological manual. Your guns are all gone and now CPS is going to be there next week. They don't even tell you that. They go, you can go now. Then CPS comes and takes your kids. No judge, no jury. You've done nothing. Your life's over. Hardcore. They rule. They control. Drink your fluoride. Take your shots. Roll over and die. Give your kid a shot in the hospital, have them convulse right in front of you, never talk again. You try to get in that doctor's face, here come cops. The cops got brain damaged kids. Nobody cares. We love death. We're going to get it. High tech, hell released. You want it, you got it. And uh, yes, those type of garbage alerts are the exact type of thing we're dealing with. Anything else, ma'am? That's it. I just wanted you to hear it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you calling in. There goes Brenda. Lee in Georgia. You're on the air, first time caller. Alex, how's it going, man? I'm a little bit under the weather, but other than that, I'm doing good. Hey, I hear you, brother. Hey, we appreciate you. We all appreciate you out here, man. By the way, happy belated 40th, too. Thank you, brother. No problem, man. Hey, I have uh, kind of a multifaceted topic here that deals with uh, something that uh, one of your callers earlier was talking about, about the mega bankers' suicide. Yes, I want to hear what you have to say on that. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, how do you think that uh, their deaths play into the foreign ex uh, exchange scandal that's happening right now? Elaborate on that, and I'll give you my answer. Uh, well, I would just like to get your take on uh, the speculation of how uh, this is going to affect the Iraqi Dinar revaluation. Uh, I'm not ignoring you, sir. I was talking to, to uh, um, um, somebody. They were giving me some information. I'm going to call them right back during the break. I don't usually take calls during a break. I heard your, I heard your question. I was going to have you talk some more and then go back to it. Um, look, I don't know why the bankers are dying. There are all sorts of scandals going on right now. Uh, there are all sorts of things unfolding right now and all sorts of corruption. But I believe these bankers are being murdered. They're not committing suicide. Because they right. don't do that. They always run. Why should they commit suicide? And it's always like comptroller level for the mafias that are behind the scenes. Like something out of the Pelican Brief. So it's still just speculation. So I don't like to get into it too much. Yes, sir. Um, like I said, uh, there's a lot of speculation, uh, especially um, on the Internet, about how uh, the Iraqi Zanar is going to be revaluated. Um, a lot of people think that it's uh, coming close to time for the um, Zanar to, uh, you know, be traded as foreign exchange. Well, here's the deal. A lot of people invested in Dinar, and I told them not to. And Iraq is in a mess. The, uh, the oil is denominated in dollars, and, and they've already inflated the Iraqi currency so much. And it's gone up and down that, um, you know, I don't think bankers are going to be killing themselves over the DNR. But I appreciate your call. They'd be getting killed over who was involved in derivatives and J.P. Morgan and all these settlements that they're making right now for all the scams they've run. Ralph in Texas, go ahead. you got about a minute and 10 seconds. Alex, I was just calling about your earlier guest. Uh, about I want to say that he's completely wrong about Dr. Michio Kaku. Uh, Dr. Michio Kaku is a, a really smart theoretical physicist, and all those quacky things uh, that he was saying about the telepathy and the telekinesis. No, 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 I get it. No, I get it. I get it. I, I know he's a serious guy with, like, string theory and, and a lot of other stuff he's been involved in. But but then he does go out into a lot of other theoretical areas that the transhumanists are promoting. So so I understand that. The point is, is he's not a meteorologist, and he's pushing global warming. I mean, do you agree with that? Right, yeah, I understand, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to get to, uh, you know, just that. I, I'm I tell you what, after our guest leaves, just we're able to get him on Skype, I want to bring you back to make your statement. I don't want to just cut you off there. I want to hear what your criticism is. 
But um, we'll be we'll be right back uh, on the other side of the break. I was actually calling one of the guys in the back to bring me some nasal spray. We're on the march. The Empire.